hi everyone terry here from Womia wellness welcome to my channel and uh, today i want us to look at uh, the at a topic that i have been asked by so many moms out there and uh, this question is when is a woman most fertile during her menstrual cycle or when is a woman most likely to get pregnant during her menstrual cycle so this is the topic we are going to cover today and uh, again welcome to Womia wellness Home your wellness takes care of moms because moms are special moms are we cannot do without moms and we help moms to be the best versions of themselves if you can identify with our vision remember to subscribe to our channel and also give give us a thumbs up to this video so back to our topic when is a woman most likely to get pregnant during her menstrual cycle so assuming you have a 14 day uh, 28 days average menstrual cycle <coughs> excuse me uh, the first thing you ought to do is identify when you're likely to ovulate and if you have a 28 day cycle you most likely you will most likely ovulate around day 13 and 14 what to do now if you ovulating between day 13 and 14 you should abstain from day 11 up to day 14 that is three days before your ovulation and again three or four days after your ovulation so uh, you should keep off from the 11 to 14 those are three four days and again from day 14 to 18 that is again another four days this why should you do that you should abstain three days to ovulation because an egg can be released at any time and usually an egg can stay alive for up to 72 hours that is why we, we should uh, uh, abstain for 72 hours that is three days before your ovulation and again when it's released it can again stay for another 72 hours before it dies so it's better to be safe if you're trying of course not to get pregnant and if you want to get pregnant this is the highest opportunity for you to get pregnant so oh, how about if you do not have the 28 days cycle the concept is the same identify when you you will most likely ovulate you can do this that by usually making some some uh, you can note note your date somewhere uh, you note when you ovulating and you can know when you ovulating by their ovulation apps there are ovulation test kits you can buy from your from your, your your local pharmacy and you can know when you're ovulating and you can you can also listen to your body know when you're ovulating by maybe feeling crampy around the abdomen some people also get some thigh pain other people get some <coughs> lower back pain you feel some as if your period is just about to come and some people feel some pain uh, around this uh, on the sides of the lower abdomen where the ovaries are positioned so that you, uh, when you feel those signs uh, and those symptoms know that you're ovulating and uh, you're very fertile during that period other things other ways you can know you're ovulating is by maybe checking your cervical mucus where it's very thin and it can stretch uh, it, it's it's usually called the egg white then know that you're fertile you can also be uh, charting down your basal body temperature by using a calculator during the ovulation period the temperature usually shoot by maybe 0 0.5 around there so when your temperature goes up around this period and you're not sick you've not overdressed and maybe your your cervical mucus is, is as have explained then you can know that you're ovulating and you are most fertile during this period so again to summarize three to four days before ovulation uh, abstain and again three to four days after ovulation abstain so this is Romeo wellness i hope i've answered your question remember to subscribe remember to give us a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye